greetings as we continue in our devotional series on the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 30. That's what this series of devotionals that are written, it's all about this anchoring verse for the last couple of devotionals. You might have heard somebody say to you before, or you might have said to somebody else or heard somebody say to somebody else, they need to be more humble. You need to be more humble. There's a difference between, and my pushback to that thought, confidence and humility. Confidence is fine, especially when you're confident in who Jesus is and what Jesus does. John, in the Gospel of John, Jesus is seen teaching to local religious leaders about his awareness as the Messiah, that humans are caught in a vicious cycle of thinking more of themselves, being self-centered, being selfish. They're caught in this trap, and that way of life leads to death. But the good news, and why we keep calling the Gospels the good news, is that God loves his people and loves this world and hasn't given up on it. And so this person of Jesus illuminates us to what being a real human being is about, which is, God must become greater, we must become less. The person of Jesus must become greater, we must become less. And the question is, how do you do it? Because that is the way of true humility. There's a great theologian named H.W. Pink. Most people have never heard of him, but he had a profound influence on modern Christianity. He wrote prolifically at the end of his life. And he said, and I've always found this to be profound, Humility is not self-cultivated or directly cultivated. It is a byproduct. And that's the most frustrating kind of thing to talk about. It's like saying, I need to be more humble and recognizing that when I say it, I'm not gonna become more humble. It's gonna, be, it's gonna become worse. What it means, it's not directly cultivated, is that when you do certain things, the byproduct is humility. And what is that certain thing you can do? Every day, a way to say, implicitly, if not explicitly, meaning if you imply it, is you can read about Jesus and his teachings. You can read about who he is, he becomes greater, and who we really are, his servants sent on earth, born in him to serve others. It's, a, it's an indirect byproduct. So, how are you gonna make Jesus greater and yourself less? How are you going to discover true humility? Read a little bit every day that comes from outside of yourself. Reflect on other people's teachings, but also on God's word that points to the same thing over and over and over again. Human beings need a Messiah, and you're not the Messiah, and I'm not the Messiah. You don't follow me, you don't follow any teacher, you follow Jesus. Food for thought, he must become greater, we must become less. God bless.